Hi there! In this video, I am going to show you the absolute easiest and one of the coolest tricks that you can do in Imbrilliance um, if you have Imbrilliance Alpha Tricks, and that is renaming your fonts. So when you import a font, they come in with the name, whatever the designer of that font has come up with. And sometimes that's um, fine, but sometimes it would be more helpful if you could add your own name. Specifically, what I've heard a lot of people do is to preface their font name with like kid or monogram or script so that all of those fonts are kind of in the same area. So as I mentioned, if you have alpha tricks, it's really easy to do. And if you purchase and download and install alpha tricks, you will have a menu item under utility that says import font. So if you're going to do a renaming and this little dialogue, this little pop-up comes up that asks if we want to begin importing a font, you can say no. Well, what I'm going to show you is I have a font in my list called Freaky Font, and I don't know why it says FSF. It doesn't mean anything to me, but what would be more helpful is if I preface this with kid, because to me it looks like a kid font. So all I have to do is change the name here, and then I hit save. I've already done it to a couple of the freaky font styles that I have, so I'm just gonna do it with the last two here and save. Now, if I go over to my font list, I, it's still showing up right here. Sometimes it just takes a second to update. If I do a new page and then I look at my font list, I can see that there are no more freaky fonts up here. They are all down here, kid, 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 preface with kid. So that is how you change the name of a font in Imbrilliance with Alphatrix.